Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Live. I've got some really, really cute projects for you this week. We are gonna be doing the Sweet Farewell stamp set. Have you even noticed it? You might have just passed it by, um, but it is super cute. So I've got three adorable projects to show you. All right, let's see, let me make sure I'm in the right place. I'm gonna share this over to my other page. And then we'll get started. Okay, good, there I am. Share. I hope you guys have had a great week. Uh, we have the 4th of July coming up here in the United States. Um, we're expecting rain here this weekend, so I'm not sure how much outside uh, fun we're gonna get to have, but that's okay. There's some movies I wanna see. Have you guys been to the movies yet since the pandemic has, oh, I don't wanna say ended, because it's not ended, I know. Have you been to the movies since things started opening up? That's what I'll say. We love going to the movies. That's our thing. And uh, let me make sure I'm doing this the right place. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, okay. And so uh, we have been numerous times. <laughs> and we wanna go see that new Pixar movie. So if, it's, if it rains here this weekend, I think maybe that's what we'll do. Kathleen, it's chilly and rainy there in New Hampshire. Oh, that actually sounds really nice. You know, here in South Texas, I always complain about our heat. Um, we have really hot summers. Um, and the problem with our heat is that the humidity is really high and that it never cools off. So it's like 100 all day and then it's like 90 at night and the humidity is 100%. But I don't even want to say it out loud. Knock on wood, this summer, it's been not bad. Next week, it's like upper 80s, which is bizarre for here. So thank you, Lord, for giving us a little break. It's very nice. We actually have had a lot of rain too. I don't know, weird stuff, <laughs> weird, weird stuff. Okay, it's good to see you guys on here. Wow, we already are up to almost 100. All right, I'm gonna jump right in. Um, the tutorial bundle. Now I'm gonna show you this and it's gonna be backwards. Let's see. I'm not even gonna try bothering, bothering with changing that. Um, <laughs> I could push some buttons and turn it, but I'm not going to. Oh, I'm seeing Montana, 100 degrees. Ruby, are you kidding me? I think of Montana as being nice and cool, no humidity. Wow. The weather has been kind of uh, um, like opposite, right? So those of you in the Northwest, um, Vancouver hit the all-time high this week, 100 and, what was it, 116? Well, my daughter and I looked it up, and our all-time high here was 113. So that is crazy that, I ha that that heat that's been going on up there. And then that it's been like the opposite here. Who knows? Crazy, crazy. Anyways, all I have to say is thank God for air conditioning. <laughs> I can't even imagine you guys living through all that without the air conditioning. Oh, okay. Anyhow, back to where I was. Um, the tutorial bundle. So we do a tutorial bundle. If you don't know, it's 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. We all design a project based on one suite from the catalog. And then we combine them into a PDF. And every month it's different. They're video tutorials. The tutorials have all the measurements in Imperial and metric. So no matter where you live in the world, the measurements will be the right um, conversion for you. Um, video tutorial for each one. And we all either give them away for free with a $50 order online. We all do that. Um, or you can subscribe and subscribing only happens twice a year in July and January. So the, the subscription is open right now. Normally you can buy the PDF. Here it is. This month's um, is expressions in ink. And normally on all the other months and this month, you can buy just one PDF from us for $15. But during Jan July and January, you can subscribe if you love getting these PDFs. And when you subscribe, um, you get the six month for free. You only pay for five and you get the six month for free. And that you can pay two ways. You can pay all for all of it up front, which is $75, or you can pay $15 a month from now until November, and then you get December's for free. So the subscription is open. If you'd like to check it out, um, on today's blog post over at pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll down, there's a thing at the bottom, it has a photo, you can go over there, and uh, it'll give you all the details. 
There's a link now. The PDF is now up and uh, available in my PDF store if you just want to buy the one PDF. Um, but if you want to order this week or anytime this month and your order is over 50, I will send it to you for free. Okay, so this month is the Expressions in Ink. You know, that's the suite that has that gorgeous paper. And this month's paper, or last month's paper pumpkin matched it. So I'm not really supposed to show the projects, but I always give you guys a sneak peek. And mine this month is using that amazing designer series paper to make a bag. Most of the projects in the PDFs are cards. Um, one or two will be 3Ds. Mine are always 3Ds. Um, I feel like I want to throw in a 3D for those 3D fans out there. Um, but majority are cards. So if you're a card maker, you'll get a lot of good ideas out of it. And then the second thing we do is um, the first week of the month, we do a blog hop. So then... Um, so then I'm reading, I'm reading comments and trying to talk at the same time. So then next week on, uh, I don't even have the date. I have to look. One day next week we do a blog hop. So you'll have, and we post another project. So then that's 12 more projects for 24 projects with this suite. It's amazing. And, and the designs, in my opinion, are pretty amazing. Um, these girls, some of, some of us are former artisan design team, um, members some are just simply amazing designers so you can see there's really great photos and then qr codes and links to the videos lots of of measurements and all of that okay so if you're interested in this make sure you click the link at the bottom of my blog i'll update this video when i'm done so you'll have the direct link to that as well um the subscription is only open during july um and the last time I checked, I think this is the final list. These were, are gonna be the sweets that we do. Next month we'll do the Bloom Where You're Planted sweet. Um, September is the You're a Peach sweet. October is a sweet from the new mini catalog and I think it's gonna be, well, you guys haven't seen it, but details will come soon about that. <laughs> and then November, the Sweet Symmetry sweet and December hand pinned, okay? So all those details are over there on my blog. Make sure you check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you already subscribed, I sent that email out yesterday. If you didn't get it, please let me know. I don't know how to improve my email arrival. I don't know. Sometimes emails just do not arrive. I don't understand why. I try to remove links and I, I don't know. So if you are a subscriber of mine and you did not get it, please email me. Okay? Okay. Hey, mom. Millie's watching me. Millie is my mom's dog. Hi, Millie. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, moving on. Um, we're having a sale. I'm going to flip the camera down because I want to show you guys this sale that we're having. Um, paper. Raise your hand if you're a paper addict like me. Yes, paper addicts. I, if I had to pick one scrapbook or paper crafting supply that I could not live without, it would be pattern paper. Okay, let me turn the fan down. Hold on. Um, and this month, July, Stampin' Up! is doing a paper sale. And it's not all the papers. It's some of the papers. And I'm going to show you which ones. Let me adjust. I rearranged my camera. I'm thinking I'm still working on that transition. I'm, I'm looking for a camera to invest that stays here and doesn't move. So just know that I'm working on it. <laughs> I feel like we're really far. So I'm going to try to zoom in. Let's see. Uh-oh. Nope, that didn't work. That did not work. Hold on, hold on. I have the software. I can hear you guys saying, hey, you don't, why did you use that software that so-and-so uses? Well, I tried, and you guys hated it. So that was last summer. Well, we're going to try it again soon. Anyhow, here is the information about the paper sale, okay? Um, there's nine different papers that are for sale. Um, they are... 15% off. So if it's a regular pack of paper, 1150, that makes it $9.78. So the papers included are the hand penned paper, right? And then this one, um, the big pack, the in good taste paper, that normally is $21. The sale makes it $17.85. That's an excellent pack of paper. If you don't have that pack, I highly recommend you get it. Um, the in the wild paper, 
you know, the tiger paper, uh, the pansy petal paper, the, let's see, none of the specialty papers are included. So nothing with like gold on it, but the sweet symmetry, which is so, so cute. We're going to use this paper next week for Facebook live. Some of it, the Christmas paper, um, which is a six by six stack, by the way, which is nice. And let's see what else, the peach paper. Let's see, did I get them all? Yep, that's all of them. So, oh no, the beauty of the earth, did I miss? Beauty of the earth, where was it? Did I miss, oh, it's on this page, that's why. The beauty of the earth paper, right there. Okay, it's all on sale from now until August 2nd. All right, just wanna make sure you guys knew that. I'm not seeing your comments now that I flipped my phone. Um. Just wanted to make sure you guys knew okay all right cool let's move that out of the way and let's talk about club create i've gotten a lot of questions this week the difference between club create and a class to go and so i thought i'd take a second to kind of go over that um i do two things every month i do a class to go and i do a club kit the club kit is a subscription and that's this one it's $39 a month and every month you get $20 in product in your kit you get five make and takes um, and the sixth month if you stay for six months during the sixth month you get $25 in product credit okay it's $39 every single month every month you also have the option to add on the bundle and when you do that I pay the shipping and tax on that okay so that's club that's a subscription it comes with that product credit you have to subscribe through paypal or your credit card by the 7th so what what day is the 7th wednesday so you have until wednesday to subscribe to this month's kit which is the beauty of friendship um club create kit and club create members i have sent out your email for the add-on if you don't didn't get it please let me know if you want it to add on the bundle and a few other things Okay, so that's Club, Club Create. And every month it's a new bundle or stamp set, but pretty much the same kind of thing. Same cost, same amount of product, same dates. Now, the difference really, the big difference in the two is that if you subscribe to this for six months, you get $25 in product credit, which is basically Stampin' Rewards, okay? Now, my class to goes are different every month. I pick something and I design a bunch of projects with it and you decide if you want it with the bundle, without the bundle, PDF only, um, or if you're on my team, you get the kit at a discount. So this is different. It's a one-time deal. You pay for it one time. You don't subscribe. It's not going to charge you every month. It's a one-time kit. This month's is the What's Cooking bundle. We love, love, love this bundle. Um, this... <laughs> This has been wildly popular. I am almost, then I looked at the numbers today and I was a little shocked at how many of you have already registered for this because we still have, where's my, I have a post-it in here somewhere. Maybe I don't. We still have until the 16th. So we have two weeks where you can register for this. This kit this month will have a pack of paper and a pack of the, the black matte dots. You'll also get a little bit of ribbon, ribbon and trim for each um project but there's three cards and three 3ds and including the little mini um recipe album which is super duper cute okay so does that clarify maybe the difference between cl club and class they are not the same they are different and the class just changes each month the dates change each month price changes each month club stays the same each month that make sense yes no maybe i'm looking at my hands they're really close <laughs> since i zoomed in i gotta remember that i zoomed in okay the the details for these the links for club which was that beauty of friendship i already put it back up this one the link for this and i will put these links at the top here when we're done the link for this is at the top of my blog there's a tab that says club create click that It'll give you all the details and the link to subscribe. There's also a PDF only version on this. Oh, the other thing, the other difference is that Club Create includes a video. 
Class to goes don't always include a video. Every now and then I do, but Club Create every month has a video and a PDF. So the deadline is Wednesday for this month's Beauty of Friendship if you want that. Okay. And then this one, I have to email you the link for that. Um, you just shoot me an email, say, please send me the link for the class to go and I will send it to you. Um, the details are on my blog if you want to read through them in more detail for the prices and stuff. I lost my post-it note. You know, that's why you don't write anything on a post-it note because I always end up losing it. Okay. Hold on just a second. <clears throat> Okay, my desk is cleared. Ooh, I think I got done five minutes earlier than normal. Um, let's see. This week, we are doing... Where did it go? Sweet farewell. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I pick a stamp set or a bundle, and I design three projects with it. Um, and then, if you like the projects, you can get them free... With a minimum order, I forgot to put this out. I'm getting it ready. You can get them free with a minimum $35 order between now and Monday at midnight. You have to use the host code unless your order is over $150. If your order is over $150, you're going to get Stampin' Rewards. But you will still get... That needs to come down lower, doesn't it? You will still get... There's such a delay, and I can't stand for this to be crooked. So you guys just hold on a second. Uh -huh. Okay, whatever. I'm leaving it. So, free Megan takes. Online order, $35 or more. Use the host code. Um, here's this week's host code. You can order anything that you want. It doesn't have to be the stamp set. If you already have the stamp set or you don't want it and you're going to use something else, that's totally fine. I don't even look at what you guys order. I just look at the total and if you use the host code. Um, then I will cut them and ship them on Wednesday. I cut them Tuesday morning. So the cutoff is Monday at midnight and I ship them on Wednesday. This is what they look like when they come. Okay, you will need the stamps. I do not do any pre-stamping. You will need the stamps, ink, and adhesive. Any of the die cutting, um, I do. The other thing I do not do is emboss. Um, so you'll need embossing folders if you want to emboss. There's a one project that uses embossing folders this week, okay? So you get a little thank you tag. Here's last week's. See how I die cut the things that you need for your projects, unless like if this had a die set, I wouldn't die cut those. But this doesn't have a die set. We're doing lots of fussy cutting this week. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, that's what they look like. So if you want them, make sure your order comes or is in by Monday at midnight. I have got to get better tape for that. Um, now, the other last thing I want to tell you. Hold on. The other last thing I want to tell you is... I wonder how long the delay is. I should count in seconds to see. There's a delay from when I talk to what I see on my iPad. <laughs> it's very off-putting. Um, let's see. It needs to come down a little bit more. The other thing that I wanted to tell you is that there's a free PDF, right? Over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. It's under the last photo, and it looks like this. Um, it's free. It has all the measurements and, or all the supply lists and the measurements that you might need. It also has the three things that I just talked about and the links to them as well and the host code and the deadline. All right. All right. Clear as mud. I'm sure I'm distracted today. Before we start, let's do some prizes. Last week, I chose two people who shared the video last week. Um, Lori Sportelli and Tiffany Weekly. Lori, I know for sure I have your mailing address. Tiffany, I believe I have yours. Unless it's changed, ladies. Congratulations. Thanks for sharing my video. You're getting the Mini Happenings stamp set. Really cute. This is the one that matches the, um, the big message die. We're going to use it in a little while. This is the new one. Okay, congratulations, ladies. Thanks for sharing my video this week. Look, I've got the stellar birthday. We're using this today too. We're using the stars. This is one of my favorite stamp sets. 
in the, in the uh, annual catalog. So if you would like to win, you can share the video on Facebook or YouTube and I will put you in a drawing um, next week and I will announce the winners next Friday, okay? Next Friday's Facebook Live, I think we're gonna do the little cute turtle. Um, I had planned on doing the little farm set, you guys, you know, the peekaboo farm. And I went to grab it yesterday to start working on it. And I don't have it. <laughs> I swear I had it. I think maybe I must have given it away as a prize. I don't know. So anyways, that will probably be the following week. Okay, we are ready. So we're going to use Sweet Farewell. I'm also using... Um, I This set has some great sayings for very specific um, reasons, right? If someone is leaving and I can tell you, I have not sent a card for that, but maybe once, maybe twice. And it's not necessarily something I would send all the time. Now, when you need it, you need it, right? But these images are so cute that I wanted to pull in some other sentiments to show you can use these you know, it doesn't have to be a bon voyage or it's not goodbye, I'll see you later. Promise to keep in touch. Oh, well, those are great and cute. These images can be used for other things. So that's what we're going to do. I pulled the lighthearted lines stamp set. Have you guys looked at this? It's so cute. Everything is figure outable. I love that. So we're going to use um, on this project, we're going to use when nothing goes right, go left. So if somebody's having a bad time, something bad has happened, they're frustrated, maybe, maybe a kid didn't pass a test. I don't know, whatever, lots of reasons. We're going to use that sentiment right there. Okay. Okay. Let's start with this crazy looking card. I, um, so these, this is the picture. This dies. Is that what they're called? Nope. Not this one. That's the message die that I was just talking about. I think I'm going backwards today, but that's okay. We're going to go from, well, I thought I would, well, whatever. We'll save the, the big one for last. Um, I, I thought I was, I was going to start with a bigger one first, but no, we'll start with this one. All right. This is called the picture this dies and there's just two of them, right? We're going to use this one right here to make this like Swiss cheese looking crazy maze. All right. See what I've done here. I've got that little paper airplane flying in and out of uh, the circles. Okay. And it's really quite easy. This card we're using Polish pink again. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't not use it. I love it so much. <laughs> I love it so much. This time we're pairing it with balmy blue. You're going to need a balmy blue card base. You're going to need, um, two pieces of balmy blue that are three and three fourths by five. You're also going to need some scrap paper. Okay. Oops. I got my little heart. Don't want to lose that. The first thing we're going to do is take that paper airplane and stamp it all over, just all over. And you want to turn it and have it going in different directions while you stamp. Okay. I, I feel like I need to zoom out now. I'm Every time I do this zooming, I feel like I'm going to screw something up. Let's see if I can. There we go. Is that a little bit better? I'm going to do a lot of coloring today and it's hard to see coloring on Facebook live because the camera is so far away from the table. I did do clean recordings of these projects. They're on YouTube already. So if you want to come back later and watch them to see how I did something, that'll be a little bit easier to see the, the coloring with the Stampin' Blends. All right, now I'm going to put these two kind of close together like this so that I can kind of stamp them at the same time. Kill two birds with one stone. The little, what do you call that? The little dotted trail that the paper airplane is leaving is really cute. So you wanna make sure you get that in there as well. And this one, we're gonna cut a lot of it out. So make sure you get a lot of image here on the on the edges, okay? All right, let's see, a couple more. 
make sure that you are turning so that your airplanes are crazy going all over the place. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Maybe I can fit one. Nah, I kind of cornered myself there. Well, let's do it like that. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. All right, now we're going to use our cut and emboss machine, but before we do that, I'm going to stamp some other things here. I'm going to stamp three of these paper airplanes on basic white. And then I'm also going to stamp that sentiment from Lighthearted Lines. Right here. When nothing goes right, go left. So that is in polished pink. All right. Now, I'm going to cut off just the bottom of this because we're going to use that message die and we're going to use the long and skinny one right there. Can you guys see that, how that fits? Okay, so let me bring over the cut and emboss machine and we're going to use that one. Still got my camera stand up. Hold on just one second. Now we're going to cut the, let's do the sentiment first since I've got that out. And I have been using this die like crazy. Um, for next week's projects, I used it twice. For this week's projects, I think I've used it twice. It's so good. I'm going to actually set some tape on here so that it doesn't slip around. Post-it tape. You know I'm a big fan. All right, so let's run that through. And let's see, did it, did it do right? It did, there we go. Okay. Now, and I call this the Swiss cheese pieces. They kind of look like Swiss cheese. And you could probably cut these out at the same time but I'm just gonna do them separate. Now you're gonna have all these little circles. We're not using those. So if you wanna save them for something else, save them. Okay, now this one. This die is fun. It really caught my attention when I first saw it in the catalog. But this is the first time I am using it. All right, now, lots of dimensionals. You guys know, you know me, lots of dimensionals. So this is gonna need extra <laughs> postage. When we layer these, we're gonna, you don't wanna have them exactly the same like this, right? You wanna have them opposite like that, okay? Does that make sense? Like that. So I'm gonna put, Dimensionals in the four corners. Hmm. Um, I saw somebody say you were having trouble sharing. What I what I have found, oh, I'm having trouble with this all the way, is that you have to go out and share it while it's not in the big, you know, like if you click on the video and make it big, for some reason the share isn't there. And you also have to be on my group page to share, I believe. All right, now four more dimensionals in the corners. Denise, you're the lucky, the lucky person who's watching, watching, watching this week with the weird Facebook glitch. Denise is watching, Denise is watching, Denise is watching. <laughs> Why does it do that? I don't know. Okay, so there we go. Look how crazy and wild that is. I love it. You know what? That would be really a cool shaker too, if you did that. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that and have things sliding in and out. That's an idea. Okay, now where are my fussy cutting friends at? We're gonna do some fussy cutting, but 
I don't really think that these are very hard to fussy cut because they're all just straight lines, okay? So you're gonna get your smallest, sharpest pair of scissors, and these are paper snips from Stampin' Up. They are 10 bucks and they are worth their weight in gold. All right, so there is one paper airplane. And we had a paper airplane stamp many years ago. Does anybody remember that? I can barely remember it. I think maybe it was like a celebration stamp. Just barely remember. There we go. Now, you guys, another thing I need to tell you is that the holiday catalog is coming out next month. And if you are dying to order from it, you can actually order from it this month in a starter kit. You can shop the new holiday catalog if you buy a starter kit this month. So keep that in mind, okay? Now, I have cut out a pink heart, and it has disappeared. Where did it go? Where, oh, no. I probably slid it over. Yep, there it is. Slid it over. Um, I'm going to come back to what I was just telling you, but I want to tell you this first. I cut out a polished pink heart. These are from the, this heart is from the Give It a Whirl dies. And before I put it on, I'm going to take that paper airplane again. And I'm going to stamp that little trail on the heart like that, across the heart, okay? <laughs> Carla, it would make someone dizzy. Yeah, this card, I'm like, this card's a little wild and crazy. Put some shakers in there, and you could, you could have a child, keep a child occupied for a while. It would be, woo! All right, so we're gonna put that heart right there. And then we're gonna take one of the paper airplanes and you can see the corner of the paper airplane stamped right there and I'm just gonna match it like that. Now the other two, we're gonna put, I'm gonna have one going like this, okay, in those holes there. And then this one, mm -hmm. let's see, maybe I'll have that one going in. No, I'm not sure I like that. My holes are different this time than my last time. There we go. Okay. For the sentiment, I'm going to get many dimensionals and we're going to put it across here like this. There is a dimensional under here, right? So to make this side even, we've got to put two dimensionals over here. Let me make sure I get them straight. And I'm actually gonna, let's put it on this end. Does that make sense? We've got a dimensional here and a dimensional under the heart. So if we want this to not be crooked, we gotta put two dimensionals on that side, right there, okay? And look, that's it, except we've got to add a tiny little twine bow. Thanks, Donna, for the share, I appreciate it. There we go. And I will use a glue dot. And we're gonna put that right there. And there you go. What do you guys think? Crazy, silly. I think it's so fun. It is crazy and it's, it is silly. You know what else we can do? And you know, I think I actually, on my first one, which one is the first one that I made? Yeah, look, I put a white piece inside and I forgot to do that. So that's all right. I can just do it on the blue like that and have that going that way. Paper airplane is really cute. It's a really cute stamp. Who would have ever thought that you needed a paper airplane stamp in your life? Yeah, I think so. 
Okay, let's move on. Let me get the thing that I need off of this tray. And let me see, I am gonna need, okay, I'm gonna need a cut and boss machine out. I do not believe I'm gonna use that again. All right, we're gonna do the big one next. We'll save the, the second card for last. Good, I'm glad you guys like it. I love it. I actually was inspired by, and I think I must have seen it on Instagram. Somebody had done a, a box with the paper airplanes flying all over it like that. And I was like, oh, that's super cute. It was blue, but that's where I got my inspiration from. It was, I think it, I think it held gum, I think. All right, let's see. Now, we're gonna make a box. Now you guys know, I always have to make a 3D, right? So, I racked my brain. What could we make? What could we make? And I was over at Walmart in the little section that has all the little shampoos and the little, you know, all the travel stuff. And I thought, remember that box that Jill sent a couple of weeks ago that was so cute and it had the little sections in it? I thought, why don't we make a box like that? that's for traveling. So that's what I've done, okay? So let me show you, I'm gonna slide this off. All of this was bought at Walmart except for the hand sanitizer, which you'll recognize as Bath and Body Works. All right, so we have a travel sunscreen stick, which I had never seen before. And that was actually in the sunscreen section, not in the travel section, but at my Walmart, that's pretty much the same aisle. Tic Tacs, a mini, tied to go have you guys seen that a mini tied to go pen that i love that hand sanitizer lip balm and a couple candies all right so that's what we're going to do it actually is not terribly difficult there's just a lot of um measurements a lot of lines hi ethel glad you're catching me for the first time thanks now I'm doing two different colors. You could also do polished pink. So this is pale papaya and this is fresh freesia. <laughs> fresh freesia, okay? Now let's get started. Let's make the box first. Let me get all of this over here and all of this over here. Make some room, make some room. Hold on, hold on, I gotta get organized. All right, this box requires you to start with 12 by 12 cardstock. There was no way I could get the box big enough with an eight and a half by 11. So you're gonna need a 12 by 12 piece. We sell our um, in color cardstock in a pack that has 12 by 12. And so you could use I am good. I've got to zoom out. This is driving me crazy. You could use and stick with the same colors. You could use pale papaya, fresh freesia, or polished pink. We're going to do pale papaya. I am loving pale papaya a lot. You guys, do you like it? I'm not a big orange person, but I love this color. Okay, so you're going to cut down your 12 by 12 to 8 and 3 fourths by 10 and a fourth. All of these are here on the PDF, right? Pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo. Um, there's a lot of them, but it, again, it's not that complicated. It just looks like it's gonna be. All right, let's start on the long side. We're gonna score at one inch, four and five eighths, five and five eighths, and nine, let me move that out of the way, nine and a fourth, okay? Then, Okay, I'm just making sure. You know, I have all this written down and then I type it and I'm, sometimes I don't type it right. Just making sure I did. On the short side, I'm gonna score at one and seven and three fourths. I do see a typo. The A, the A is an S. That's okay, that doesn't matter. All right, once you have those score lines, get your bone folder. Did I call it Peekaboo Peach, you guys? Terry, did I call it that? <laughs> Peekaboo Peach, P 
pale papaya. You don't think, is it the same? You think it's the same? I don't know. I need to, I need to dig deep in my scraps and see if I can find a, a piece of peekaboo peach. Heather, the markers on my Simply Scored. Stampin' Up! used to sell those and they do not any longer. People can make them on their 3D printers. So the colored ones I have, someone made on the 3D printer, but I will tell you that the ones that I have break off in the Simply Scored and they're not great. So you can look around. There's actually, if you Google... Um, uh, Simply Scored Marker 3D Printer Plans, they're out there. So if you know somebody with a 3D printer, they can do them. Okay, so we're going to make just basically a clamshell box. We're going to cut these score lines on the long sides. And we're going to cut the corners off of the square tabs. You might be able to find them on eBay, although I have looked and looked and looked for the original Stampin' Up! Score Marker things and I can't find them. If anybody has any they want to sell me, please email me. They were, um, we used to sell them and we don't anymore and I need them. <laughs> I lose them. They are great. I can never get these out. Why is that? It's like I can't grab it. Peekaboo Peach. What do you guys think? Is it close to Peekaboo Peach? Yes, Carla, too many peas. Pale Papaya Peekaboo Peach. I mean, of course we're going to get it mixed up. Of course I'm going to get it mixed up. All right, I am going to use Tombow, I find here in South Texas. It is best to use Tombow um, on these boxes. They don't pop open ever if you use Tombow liquid glue. I'm gonna put the glue on the outside of four of those squares, and then I'm gonna fold them up into these sides. And I have these little clothespins from the dollar store, okay, that hold them down while the glue dries. Take about, I don't know, five minutes at the most to give it time to dry. Um, but that way you don't have to sit here and hold it. Okay. Now these, we're going to do the same thing. And fold them into this part. And this is the lid. So it's like a clamshell box that the lid will fold over the bottom. Okay. Okay. So we're going to set that aside and we'll make the tags. We've got these other pieces that we need to score, which we'll do in just a little while. Uh-oh, did I just drop that? No, okay. Okay, I have cut out two of the tailor-made tags, the dies, from um, Polish Pink and Fresh Freesia. It's not the largest one, it's the second largest one and the one below it. So. There's one on either side, They're the two middles, okay? And I'm gonna emboss them with the dots and checks embossing folders. Let's see, we'll do polka dots here. All right, and let's see if I can remember how to emboss on this machine. I always have to revisit, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, the white plate and the gray plate are what you need for this embossing folder. This is the cut and emboss mini, which these are, these little skinny embossing folders are designed for the cut and emboss mini, but they still work in your big um, cut and emboss machine as well. See how easy they go through? I love it. These are my favorite embossing folders right now. Dots and checks. Here's the other one. Now, oh, you know what? No, we'll just come back and do that later. Now, I've also cut out the little, we talked about these last week or the week before. It was when we did the Hey Girl, what are these called? The fasteners, the reinforcers, reinforce these things that you put on tags so that they don't rip. 
Who knows? What's the official name? I always want to call them clasps. They're not really clasps, are they? What are they? Those things. <laughs> okay, we've got two of them. I guess it doesn't matter what they're called. Now we are going to, I need to put the lid on my glue. We are going to color this super cute little suitcase. Memento black. And reinforcements, mom, are they called, they're gummed re reinforcements? Okay, I did say that, didn't I? Reinforcers, reinforcements, I don't know. All right, the colors that I had that go with both of these colors are Polish Pink, Pale Papaya, Pool Party, Fresh Freesia, and Granny Apple. Um, I think I'm gonna use Pool Party on this. Uh oh, I can hear Pepper. Patty has the little one back in um, the bedroom trying to keep her quiet, but I can hear her crying. She can't stand to be away from her mama. <laughs> little spoiled dog. All right, I'm gonna take Pool Party Light and I'm using the brush tip because I've got a big area to cover here. And I'm gonna go around these cute little tags or stickers or labels or whatever they are. And then I'm gonna take my dark pool party and I'm gonna kind of go around the side here and I'm gonna add some dark kind of in an angle like that for shading. And then I'm gonna take my light and blend it back up. I don't, I'm standing when I do these videos and I can't stand to color while I'm standing. I need to be sitting. All right, so blend, blend, blend. We could go on forever, but we're gonna leave that part light, okay? Now, what color should we do the handles? Well, pink, of course. So polish pink, and I am going to do polish pink dark for that handle. And I'm also gonna do the wheels right here, which you're probably not really gonna be able to see what, because we're gonna do the tag in a minute. I mean, yeah, the, the, the little sentiment tag. Okay, color that and the zipper. Now these weird stickers, well, they're not weird, they're cute, but I don't know what they are and what color they're supposed to be. So I'm just gonna do, I don't know, Pale Papaya, AKA Peekaboo Peach. <laughs> And then we'll do fresh freesia. Every time I say fresh freesia, I can smell freesia lotion from Bath and Body Works. Do you guys remember fresh or freesia? That's what I loved when I was in college. And I can smell it every time I say the word. It was the best. They've had it, they've had it in recent years. You know, they bring back your favorite colors. I mean, your favorite scents. Now this little tag, I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see. See this one right here? I couldn't quite tell what that is. It looks like maybe a sun and a hot air balloon and some grass, I think. So that's, I'm not sure. It's so tiny, you really can't see. So that's what we're gonna just, we're just gonna color it. We're gonna color it like that. The sun, I'm just gonna use light peekaboo peach since I have it. I'm gonna use a granny apple for the grass. And then, I don't know if that's a balloon. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a balloon. It doesn't really matter. Don't overthink it, just color it. And I forgot to do the little luggage tag right here. So cute. All right. Now, one color that I forgot, I'm gonna grab it. Just a gray for these little poles right here. Just whatever gray you have. Smoky Slate, I think this is gray granite. Okay, there. How cute, I want that luggage in real life. A turquoise piece of luggage with hot pink wheels and a handle. <laughs> okay, maybe a map cover, yeah, maybe. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, you guys need to look at it. Sun sailboat, you think it's a sailboat? And land? Hmm, maybe, that could be water. Huh, 
I don't know. You guys, we gotta get a magnifying glass and figure it out. Now here we go. We're gonna fussy cut again. I know, I know you don't like it. Some of you don't like it, but I'm telling you, you can do it. Get your good scissors and just stay on the outside of that black line. If you really don't want to fussy cut, then find a die or a punch that will fit around it the closest, like an oval. And then and then you don't have to you don't have to worry about it. Okay? Okay. I always feel guilty when I make a project with fussy cutting, which is pretty much at least 50% of my projects. I feel guilty. Somebody's going to be mad. They don't want to fussy cut. All right, around, around, around. We're almost there. There we go. We're almost ready to put this together. Let's stamp that tag with the label. They're all tags and labels today, aren't they? Bon voyage. I think that this little gift would be so cute to give someone who's going on a long trip. Now that we're all out of quarantine and life is opening, I heard Europe is opening for Americans some point this summer. If someone's going on a long trip, how fun would it be to give them this little box? I think it's just cute. Now I will tell you that that little, everything was really cheap, except for that mini sunscreen stick. That was very expensive. I wanna say it was like $6, At maybe even seven. I know that doesn't sound like that much, but for that tiny little, tiny little sunscreen stick, you better believe I'm gonna put it in my purse and we're gonna use it. But the other things were all super cheap. I think the little Tide stick was a dollar. Hand sanitizer was a dollar. So you could, you could do this gift for about $10 probably. A little bon, bon voyage. All right, this label, by the way, is from the all dressed up dies, the ones we used last week, the little purse. That's where that is from. All right, now we're gonna stick these together with you guessed it, dimensional, <laughs> Cheryl, I've come to terms with fussy cutting since watching Erica. Good, good, I'm glad I could convert you. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so dimensionals, 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 kind of at an angle. And then this guy, we're gonna put this dimensional right here and put it across like that. I want those wheels to show. There's your tag. All right, let's bring back our box. Actually, let's do the other, mm, yeah, let's let's do the other score line. Let me take these off. And I'm gonna show you the little segments that I made inside. Now, depending on what you put inside your box, if you don't do, see how that closes so nicely? Depending on the things that you find, your segments might need to be tweaked a little bit. Um, and I'll, and I'll kind of tell you how, what I came up with. You want your paper to fit this way, right? So whatever that measurement is, which I will tell you, three and five eighths. And then measure how big your item is. That would be that segment. And then I made the little peaks three fourths of an inch. So then you make your peaks. Our little first section is, let me look at my notes, three inches. And then the peak is three fourths. So then we do three and three fourths and that's up. And then you gotta come down, which is four and a half. Just so happens that the little tied stick is three fourths of an inch. So again, skip three fourths of an inch, five and a fourth. And then you're gonna make two more peaks. So five and a fourth, six and six and three fourths. Eh, does that make sense? I'll show you in a second when I fold it. Now you're gonna need two other pieces of pale papaya. These are two and seven eighths by five, and these are gonna go across the um, this way on the box. So we're gonna score the long sides on these at one and three fourths, two and a half, and three and a fourth. Again, we're making these peaks, so it's gonna sit in there. 
like this. Can you guys see? And the peak is what I'm talking about, that little wall. Um, and it's three-fourths on each side. Um, let's see, what did I do again? One and three-fourths, two and a half, three and a fourth. All right. Now we're going to do the big one first. And so here, this is that segment, right? And then you fold it so that you have one little wall. The Tide Pen is going to go right here. You fold it again, so you have another little wall. See how that fits in there? Now, I didn't adhere it. You could adhere it down if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. Because once we put the stuff in there, which, let's do that. It holds it down. Actually, not yet. We can do this one. The little mini Tide Pen. Like that. Now, these go this way. Okay, and once I got those in there, I felt like nothing was it really popping out. Of course, now it is. So maybe you do want to glue it in. <laughs> Isn't that how it always is? Here's our expensive um, sunscreen stick. I've got some Tic Tacs, which are what, a dollar? Oh, the little Vaseline. This is my favorite chapstick, you guys. Have you ever used this? The creme brulee flavor? My dermatologist told me that the only chapstick you should be using is Vaseline. Um, the only thing I don't like is that you have to use your finger, but I do like it. All right, so a little Vaseline. Again, Walmart in the, you know, beauty section. Um, little, Just a couple candies and the hand sanitizer. All right, and then there you have it. Now, I cut down a piece of pale papaya um in half where did my adhesive go am i just looking at it y'all are like it's right there i don't see it i don't see it well okay here it is <laughs> i thought it was i thought it was the plus this is a half sheet of pale papaya cut at six by two and seven eighths and then we're going to put it on a piece of white that is three by six and an eight eighth Okay, just a little bit of a border. But I actually think I meant to make that a quarter inch border. There we go, okay, there's that. Now get a piece of pale papaya. And this is one and a half by 11. And I'm gonna just wrap it around like that. I'm not gonna do any fancy score lines on this. I'm just gonna wrap it to match those edges. A little bit of adhesive adhere it to itself so that it slides like that and then we've got the matching ribbon pale papaya as well and I guess I need to turn this this is the back let's do it this way tie your ribbon uh oh hold please my adhesive did not stick there we go now we're gonna tie this ribbon around. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, she says her dermatologist swears by Vaseline also and to use a Q-tip. But what do you, I guess if you're gonna carry it in your purse, you have to carry Q-tips also. I don't know, but it tastes, not taste, you know, it smells. Not, I don't taste it obviously. Well, it's on your lips, I guess you do taste a little bit, but it smells so good. Creme brulee, there's another flavor they have that's similar, that is so yummy. A little makeup brush, that yeah, that would work too. Look at you guys, you're being so clever. All right, sandwich that ribbon with some dimensionals and boom, there's your box. Do you guys think that's cute? I think it's super cute. Bon, bon voyage. And I should have made one in the polished pink as well. If you get the make and takes from me, you're either going to get fresh freesia, pale papaya, or polished pink. Because I have got all of those colors in that pack of cardstock. All right, there you go. Project number two. I hope you guys like it. And I hope I kind of helped make sense with those little segments where you can figure out your own. Just use your ruler and measure the size your little things need to be. And make your little walls. And that's it. All right, one more project and it's, what time is it, three o'clock? Okay, okay, we're not too, too late. Let me pull.
fold this one over and get another drink. All right, this card is so fun. It says, wow, plot twist. I think that is hilarious, plot twist. That's from Lighthearted Lines also. I mean, think of the different reasons you could send that, right? Like somebody, you know, I don't know, got a job that they weren't expecting or met somebody that, I don't know, lots of funny things you could use for plot twist. So we're gonna make these 3D letters, wow, plot twist, and use those cameras from the sweet farewell. All right, let's make that card base first. Once again, my favorite color, polished pink. Where did my polished pink ink pad go? I had it out just a second ago. Here it is. And we're gonna stamp this camera several times in, let's see, I'm gonna kind of do an arc like that. Polished pink ink on polished pink cardstock. All right. Now I'm also going to take those little stars. Remember I told you the stars were from Stellar Birthday. These right here. And I want them to be lighter than the camera. So I'm going to stamp off, which means I'm just going to ink it and stamp and then stamp so that they're really light. Because I felt like if I did it too dark, it would be a little bit too busy. It's hard to, like today they're really light. I don't know, let's see. Hmm, there we go. All right, now I've got a piece of this paper, which I feel like I think I've used every single week since this new catalog came out. This is the Pattern Party paper again. Free with a $150 order. You use your Stampin' Rewards to buy it. There we go. Now we're gonna stamp the cameras in three different colors. So we've got to have our chamois. Got to clean that. And we're gonna stamp it in Granny Apple Green on Granny Apple Green cardstock. And then we're gonna do Daffodil Delight. Ink on Daffodil Delight cardstock. I got a new Daffodil Delight ink pad, you guys. Remember, I don't know if you remember last week if you were here, me talking about my Daffodil Delight ink pad was stamping very orange. My new one stamps perfectly, so I do think I must have re-inked it <laughs> with crushed curry because it was not right. It just wasn't. All right, now this time, Gorgeous Grape on Highland Heather. Now, you could leave them like that, but why would you leave them like that when you have Stampin' Blends? I'm gonna take the dark Stampin' Blend of each color, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to some of these parts. So right here, right here, this little part right here, and I'm gonna go around that circle. This is where you gotta put your glasses on. Okay, let's do, um, remember I stamped this in a gorgeous grape, right? Suddenly I'm doubting myself. Yeah, gorgeous grape on Highland Heather, but I'm gonna use the dark Highland Heather Stampin' Blend because we don't have gorgeous grape Stampin' Blends, which is fine because the dark Highland Heather is perfect. I think gorgeous grape Stampin' Blends would be very dark. Kind of like Blackberry Bliss is super dark. All right, and then Daffodil Delight. But wait, there's more. That's right, Terry. That's right. But wait, there's more. There's always more. Always more. I can never just do simple little cards. It always has to have a little something more, a little something more. All right, now, but wait, there's one more. <laughs> We're gonna add some Wink of Stella to the middle of those cameras. And notice I'm kind of brushing it off 
on the side of the paper before I switch over because sometimes it will pick up the ink color and I didn't want to transfer that. All right, now I'm gonna fussy cut these. Now it has this strap, but we are not cutting that strap. That is a little bit too much for even me to fussy cut. We're gonna just cut it off. All right, and I told you I would come back to tell you more about the holiday catalog. The holiday catalog is coming next month. I got my pre-order today, and can I just say there is some black and white check ribbon that I am madly, deeply in love with. There's also some designer series paper that is buffalo check. It's like a gray and white. It's very cute. Um, you guys, if you ordered from me within like the last nine months, I have automatically sent you a catalog. It'll come straight from Stampin' Up. And if you um, have not ordered from me and you don't have a demonstrator and you need a catalog, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be happy to send one to you in the mail. Um, we, it also is going to come with a celebration catalog. We have summer celebration this year, which is a little catalog of free things. You get them free with a $50 order or a $100 order. So that's coming. And in summer celebration, or I keep wanting to call it celebration part two, there is some great pattern paper in this little catalog. It is so good. And everything in the celebration catalog this summer will be while supplies last. So you gotta keep that in mind, prioritize the things that you want so that they don't run out before you get them. So all of that is coming in August, but if you buy the starter kit in July, you can shop from that holiday catalog. And then you get your discount. On top of that, after, well, after you, get your, after you buy the starter kit, you get a discount on the rest of your orders. I mean, it's a great deal. All right, we have the cameras ready. Now we gotta make those letters. These letters, oh, we are gonna need that big cut and emboss machine. Well, maybe we could try the little one. We're gonna make, you remember the, well, they, I think they still sell them, the thickers the thick sticker letters. We're going to make our own. This We did this a couple weeks ago. No, we didn't do this a couple weeks ago. I did it on the bonus video. This is um, foam adhesive, our foam adhesive sheets. It's like a giant um, dimensional, and you know how I feel about my dimensionals. I'm going to peel it and put it on a piece of basic black. And I have to come over and see Michelle. Does In Color Club count for a catalog? You know what, uh, Michelle? The way I ordered the catalogs is I went down my customer manager in my Stampin' Up! account. So all the people who've put in orders, those directly. So if you hadn't ordered that way, I wouldn't think to send you one, but I will be more than happy to send you one. Um, I probably need to think about that in Color Club because not everybody in In Color Club has ordered directly from me other than In Color Club. So if you will remind me next month when I send that first email out to you guys to email me and say, please send me a catalog in my In Color Club and I will. Actually, no, I, don't, I won't have them in time this month, I don't think, to send them. All right, so we've got that foam. And we're gonna cut out the word wow. And I did this previously on my big cut and emboss machine. Let's try the mini. I'm sure it'll work. And we're gonna do the exclamation mark as well. And when we, oh my gosh, this has just been a problem all day. When you are cutting through something as thick as this, I feel like you need to kind of go through a couple of times for good measure. All right, let's take a look. Look, it cut perfectly. So now we gotta go through one more time for the W. And I will just leave all of those sitting in there while we do the W. Probably cut too much paper, too much adhesive. I recorded this video yesterday, and then when I was done, I looked up and my phone had stopped recording. 
My phone keeps doing that to me and I don't know why it's doing that. It'll record half the video and then it'll just stop. So if you are a iPhone wizard and you know why that's happening, just let me know. My phone is about two years old, which in the phone world is kind of old. Shouldn't be. Ugh, so frustrating because then I had to record it again. All right, now this little part right here, the exclamation mark, is a little tricky because it's so tiny, but you can do it. Let's get all of these out. And the foam adhesive has turned these into stickers. So when we go to put them on our card, we're just gonna peel off that back, which in fact, look, the backing has already stayed on those. And it's already sticky. To get my letters straight, I like to get a straight edge and put it across my card. That is gonna get lost. Let's put it right there. All right, I'm gonna work backwards because I don't wanna to get too short over here on the end. So I'm gonna set them down and not press them in yet. Okay, so just set it down. That way you can kind of wiggle it all around to get it final. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. So I'm gonna press those down. Now we'll get our exclamation. Oh, that's stuck there. Exclamation mark. Put that right there. And I'm gonna grab that little dot that is sticking to my nail right here. Uh-oh. Where did it go? It bounced away. No, it did not. It literally disappeared. Oh, here it is right here. Okay. Whew. So I'm um, just use my scissors or your take your pick tool and stick that down. Wow. Now we got to do the plot twist. And all I'm going to do for this is stamp it on a little rectangle. If you're worried about getting your stamping straight, stamp it on a big piece. I've got to look down at it. Stamp it on a big piece and then cut it down to the size that you want. In fact, I think this is a little bit too big. Let's see if I can cut that on here. I just want it to be a skinny little strip. Maybe a little bit more. It really should be about half an inch. And now it's crooked. See, this is what I do. I can't ever leave well enough alone. Mm, we're going with it. We are going with it straight enough. All right. Can we use a regular dimensional here? Yes, we can. <laughs> Leona, thank you. I couldn't see it. I was looking for a black dot. It was upside down and it was a white dot. All right, wow, plot twist. Isn't that funny? I think that's so funny. All right, now we're gonna get our little cameras and we're gonna just arrange them around. I, you know, I was thinking like paparazzi, you know, like cameras flashing. And then this one, we'll put it up here like that. And last but not least, no go on this card, but I think a few rhinestones like um camera flashes would be cute like that there we go and they say to do it in odd numbers so let's do five put one right there and there you have it i like this card i think it's so funny i, I can't wait to think of a reason to use it or have a reason to use it. Something big will have to happen in someone's life and then you can send that funny card to them. Okay, so we made it to the end, yay! Let's look at what we made. I've got the cute plot twist card. We've got the airplane card, the paper airplane card, and then our travel gift. 
I, you know what? I can't pick a favorite this week. Usually I have a favorite, but I love them all this week. I hope you guys like this set. This set, again, I think is a kind of a sleeper because you think, oh, I don't need a stamp set for going away. But these images are so cute and they can be used for so many different things. Um, I also love the way these are drawn. This is my favorite kind of stamp set, the black line drawing like that. Love it. Um, I do have a bonus project for you on Monday using the sailboat. I don't have a video for it, but I'll post the details on Monday for you. So you'll have four ways of using your sweet farewell. Now don't forget to grab that PDF over on my blog. It's under the last photo. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it has all the measurements and the product list, as well as the things we talked about at the beginning, the host code. If you'd like for me to send you the make and take packet, make sure your order is in by Monday at midnight and you have to use that host code. If you don't use the host code, I think that you don't want the projects. If you forget to use the host code, please email me so I know that you want the projects, okay? Um, Catherine, you did it, enabler, good. I hope that I convinced you guys this is a great set. Um, the other thing I wanted to say was if your order is over $150, don't use the host code. You're gonna get free stuff and I will still send you the free make and takes. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. I will be back next Friday with a cute little turtle set. And um, don't forget about the paper sale too. You guys have a great weekend. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye everybody.